Stärke. The morning always starts with coffee and Jesus. After a quiet time of digging into Acts 28 and 1 John 4, showered up, now enjoying the sunrise with a nice cup of coffee. Now I'm ready to make some breakfast and start my day. This is my apartment building. It's my room right there. One of my main ministries here in Morska Sobota, Slovenia is writing and recording weekly um, encouragement messages for the congregation here that go on their Facebook page. So this morning I'm off to the church to record that and then have language class um, right after that at the church. Most people in Slovenia travel by car or bike. For Christmas, my parents got me an electric scooter. Auto. Come on, guys. <laughs> Is it? Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> We are off to go get malitsa, which translates to snack. It's like a little lunch. You just go and take away lunch. It's pretty nice. I was able to buy a little carrier. You can also get it without a carrier. And then it comes in little packages. Let me tell you, it's more than just a snack. Here's your soup, your salad. Here's the veggies and potatoes and the main meat. We are off to a local friend's house to go bake a cake for one of our teammates' birthday tomorrow. Y'all, go hard on your teammates' birthday. This is the time to do it. Most people in Morska live in apartments. Um, this lady lives on the fifth floor, so I get to walk up a lot of stairs. <laughs> I haven't done much baking, but definitely reaping the benefits. So we're gonna come in with this great marmalade. She made it from her own grapes. <laughs> Well, I had to leave and couldn't wait till the final product because I have to run to the store and grab some stuff before church tonight. So I guess the birthday party is when I'll finally see it. They love their coffee here, especially Turkish. Honestly, I'll never get tired of this view. So COVID's actually been really bad since I moved to Slovenia here. And for the almost five months that I've been here, there's been a grand total of 10 days where I've not been in quarantine or the country's been in lockdown. So it's been kind of hard, but, and it's been like nothing like I ever expected it'd be like. So one of the biggest thing that God's been teaching me is just 
that it's okay if my expectations are not fulfilled because my expectations should be set on Christ. And as long as they're set there, I'm never gonna get let down. Um, my feelings are never gonna get hurt because I know he's in control. So yeah, I just encourage the future interns that, yeah, it might look different than you expect it, but just know that God's in it and God's got an amazing plan and he's gonna use it for his glory. And that's all that matters. This is a sanctuary. It's actually the biggest evangelical church in all of Slovenia that we get to be a part of. Such a blessing. One of the few actual restaurants open during COVID. Well, that about wraps up a day in the life of Paul Lauren Morska Sobata, Slovenia. Um, yeah, usually the evenings just look like hanging out um, with the team, working on homework, watching movies, playing games. There's a police enforced curfew at 9 p.m. because of COVID. So usually I'll get back home by nine, work on some homework, watch some Netflix, um, just, relax so yeah and that's what i'm in now so thanks for tuning in to my life here in slovenia <laughs>